In the last video, we have seen SR latch. In this video, we are going to see SR flip flop. Now we are drawing the SR latch. We want to make this as a flip flop. Now the difference between flip flop and latch is the latch doesn't have clock pin but a flip flop has clock pin. So to do this we have to add two more NAND gate and this will be our S and this will be our R. And we have to connect one input of both the NAND gate and it will be our clock pin. This part is SR latch and the whole part is SR flip flop. The total circuit is represented by a box like this. It has both the output. These two are the inputs. And this is the clock pin. And we have to make a angle bracket in this. Angle bracket represent it is edge trigger. From low to high the edge trigger will active the clock. And it is low to high. The truth table of NAND gate is When both the input is 1, then only we will get 0. And truth table of NAND gate SR latch, when both S and R are 0, then it is invalid 0, 1, then Q1 and Q0, 1, 0 means Q0 and Q bar 1. And when both are 1, then NAND gate SR latch will be in memory state. Now we will use this information to find out the output of this SR flip flop. Again I am drawing the SR flip flop. Here is two table of SR NAND gate and two table of NAND gate. Now we will use this information to analyze this circuit. And here it is SR latch. When clock is zero. Then one input of this NAND gate and one input of this NAND gate is zero. Whenever one input of NAND gate is zero, then we'll get one as a output. So here it will be one. If both the input of SR latch that is S and R is one one then it will be in memory state. So whenever clock is zero, then it will be in memory state. And it is doesn't care whatever the input are. So using any value on SR, if clock is zero, then it will be always in memory state. Now we'll see when clock is one and S and R are zero. As clock is 1, then one input of NAND gate is 1 and other input is 0. S and R 0, 0, 0. If one input of NAND gate is 0, then our output will be 1. So again we are getting 1, 1. If input of SR latch is 1, 1, then it will be in memory state. clock 1 s1 r0 now it is 1 clock 1 and s1 so both the input of NAND gate is 1 so we will get 0 in the output clock 1 r0 if 1 0 is input then our output will be 1 in SR latch, if S equal to 0 and R equal to 1, S equal to 0, R equal to 1, then Q equal to 1, Q bar equal to 0. So this will be our output. Clock 1, S0, R1. 
now s0 r1 one input is one and other input is zero one zero will get one in the output here both the input of NAND gate is one so we'll get zero if s1 and r0 s1 and r0 means we'll get q equal to zero and q bar equal to one clock one s1 r1 r1 s1 and also clock is one both the input is one so we'll get zero in the output and here also both the input is one and we'll get zero in the output if both the input of SRLH is 0, 0, then we will have an output. It is invalid. So, this is the truth table of SR flip flop. For SR flip flop, if input is 1, 1, then we will get invalid. To get it valid, we have to improve the circuit. And we will discuss this in jack flip flop and in the next video i'll show practical circuit of this so guys this is all for today thanks for watching